One of the great conservation partnerships the Detroit Zoological Society has is Polar Oceans Research Group. They're led by world-renowned polar ecologist Dr. Bill Frazier, and his work takes place in Antarctica at the U.S. Palmer Station, and it's been going on for almost four decades now. Dr. Frazier's been uh, studying the penguins and the environment down there, and it's a, a bigger collaboration of a long-term ecological research study of various different principal investigators studying all different parts of the climate and the ecosystem. And we're all working together here to understand what's happening in a ch changing climate. I spent part of the 2015-2016 Austral Summer working with Dr. Frazier's research team. We studied southern giant petrels, brown skuas, adeli, and gentoo penguins, and a few more species. The Antarctic Peninsula is a, a quite harsh environment. Uh, there's a lot of wind, a lot of weather, and a lot of ice to deal with. Every morning uh, we got up early and if conditions were appropriate, we zodiaced around to various islands studying the birds and looking at the environment. We did a lot of work counting birds, so we would count different colonies, see how many adults were there, how many uh, chicks we could find. We also uh, took various measurements on birds to see different growth rates. We'd see these penguins lay their eggs, work hard to incubating them until they hatched, and then they would continue to take turns going out to feed, catching krill and fish, and put all their efforts into raising their young. I've loved our planet ever since I was a young kid, but sometimes it's hard in day-to-day -day life to see changes in our environment or what's going on, but going down there and working in Antarctica was just amazing to see the changes in the environment and the struggles that the Adelis are going through. And uh, we just ask you to join in with our mission and wherever we go, we want to leave the smallest footprint we can. We live in an incredible world and it's our responsibility to protect it.